Hello, grade six, and welcome to this weekly breakdown. So for this week, we're going to start lesson 3.3, which is other forms of energy. In the past weeks, we've learned the term energy. It is the ability to do work. We talked about work, power, force. We talked about the two major types of energy, which is either kinetic, which is energy in a moving object, or potential energy, which is energy in a stored object. In this lesson, we are going to go and get introduced to deeper forms of energy, different types of energy found around us. Let's start off with mechanical energy. It is an energy that is possessed in an object due to its motion. So since I see in motion, I have to know it's a type of kinetic energy because it is energy that is uh, found in an object that is moving. Moving on to the other form of energy, which is nuclear energy. From the name nuclear energy, it is energy that is stored in a nucleus. So I expect it to be a form of potential energy because it's stored. And it has two types, either nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. In nuclear fission, the nucleus splits. From the name fission, it splits into two or more smaller nuclei. But in fusion, it combines to form one or more different atomic nuclei. Moving on to the other type of energy, which is thermal energy. We said thermal energy is the total kinetic and potential. So if I have kinetic energy and potential energy and you combine it, we get thermal energy. And it's, mo it's usually the movement of particles when they move or they, when they change state from one state to the other. And then chemical energy, it's a form of potential energy. So it, is, it should be stored in chemical bonds between atoms. So when these bonds are broken, energy is released. We can think of other exam examples that have chemical energy, such as food, because it's stored. And uh, we can talk about plants, because they are producers. They produce their own food through photosynthesis. So the production of food through photosynthesis is a form of stored chemical energy. And we also have petroleum or oil. We have the electromagnetic radiation. We are going to talk about the energy that is transferred through space, since we get radiation through different types of waves, such as x-rays, microwaves, mobile phone signals, radio signals, UV waves. All these are other forms of electromagnetic radiation. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about other forms of energy. We're going to use many online resources to view them through simulations, to get assessed by uh, online quizzes as usual, and you will do a lot of fun activities to be engaged and to make sure that you guys know all the forms of energy. Thank you so much, eighth, uh, sixth grade. If you need anything, you know where to find me.